plaintiff, Erica Wiley, says she met the defendant when she found out she was having sex with Erica's boyfriend. Since then, Erica claims the defendant has harassed her, stalked her, and even assaulted her because she still wants Erica's boyfriend. She's suing for the assault, car damages, and emotional distress. Defendant Diana Harrell says she didn't know Erica existed until after she became pregnant. Diana claims while pregnant, Erica threatened her life and the life of her unborn child, and then attacked her, which caused her to go into premature labor. She's countersuing for the assault. Start with you. Well, Your Honor, um, I'm sick of this girl. She it has been a pain in Where the rear. Where do you rear. know her from? Um, she was sleeping with my boyfriend. Um, initially, <laughs> I met her because she friended me on Facebook, and that's when I found out that she was supposed to be sleeping with my boyfriend. What was the purpose of friending you, do you know? Uh, to be messy. She's messy, and she's full of drama. So <clears throat> she wanted you to know? Yes, apparently. I didn't know anything about her. You friended her? Uh, through somebody else. And her so then you did know about something her. about her. Right. No, I didn't know anything about her. She knew about me, Your Hold Honor. Hold on. How did you know she existed then? Uh, her name popped up as, like, a uh, request a friend. You asked to be friends with right. her? Right. But I didn't know Why who she was Why would you ask to be time. friends with someone who you have no idea existed? I just did. Okay. Go ahead. Okay, so being messy, she requested mm -hmm. me as a friend. And me being a nice person I am, I accepted her. Um, I found out then that she was apparently sleeping with my boyfriend. But since then, she has done nothing. When was that? 2012. Okay. And what did your boyfriend say? You he sick denied of him? it. Yeah, he denied it. Because you say you're sick of her. I'm wondering if you're sick of him. Partially. It's all right. Okay. <laughs> uh -huh. Somewhat. I've he been sick of him. He denied it? Yeah, he denied you it. You believe it? No. Okay. Go ahead. Okay, apparently the defendant is jealous of me. She wants to be me. Um, her and her friends are stalkers. Wow. They have been harassing me. Um, they're just all the way involved with what's going on with me. They want to know everything about me. She, her and her friends are harassing me on my job. They've come to my job um, cursing at me and my manager. We've had to call the police. Um, they came to my job, spray painted my car while I was at work. I did. Um, she's come to my house and while I was at work and told my neighbor to tell me she was there, took pictures of my front door, posted it on Facebook. She, um... All this end. you believe is because she just want to make your life uh, problematic because of the envy no, of your all of this, your Your Honor, boyfriend? is because she still wants him and he does not want her. All right, she's so desperate. what is he saying? I don't know what he's saying uh, to her. You don't? You don't go with him anymore? Yeah. Well, well he's not saying... You, need, you need to start your checking right there. Right, I you did. You need to start your checking did, at Your home, Honor. and you need to tell him to take care of that problem. She doing all this, and he said, hey, your right. girl, you better take care right. of that. Yeah. yeah. Because, obviously, she has a reason to be angry with you. Your Honor, she has three kids, three different fathers, mm -hmm. and she's done and this on three different occasions. Your she boyfriend. is... Yeah. Is that okay. true? Yeah, so we yeah. said... No, 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 don't skip over that. <laughs> yes, so that is So your boyfriend true. also had a baby with her. Yes. Yes. But she... Your uh, boyfriend has caused you all these problems. Yes. I don't know whether you know it or not. Yes. He, you wouldn't have anything to do with her had your boyfriend Correct. not cheated. Correct. So let's start with that. Correct. All right, at least you know. While we were together, that's when I found out she was pregnant. He denied it up until she had the baby or whatever. How many children does he have? Twelve. <laughs> that's not true. Please tell she me. She only that's has not true, one, so. Ma'am? I don't know how many he has. Eight or nine, maybe. <laughs> what do you want to tell me today, ma'am? <laughs> that's why he can't make it here today. He's right. <laughs> <laughs> Having more babies. I doubt that. Why do you doubt it? Because he's in jail. <laughs> Well, go ahead, ma'am. What do you well, want to tell me? I know me? of Miss Wiley, um, because we have a kid by the same guy. I didn't find out about her until after I had already got pregnant, which was around July of 2012. She actually approached me at a tattoo parlor where I was with my sister. 
Um, she approached me and asked me, was I pregnant by him? Did I, uh, was I dating him? Um, I told her, yeah, and it, all of the drama and threatening and stalking and all of that stuff started after that on her end. She would ride past my mom's house, because that's who I lived with at the time, uh, honk her horn, tell me to come outside so she can kick the baby out of me, wish mm. death on me and my baby, was very disrespectful. Um, there were so many altercations. Um, a couple of months after that, while I was seven months pregnant, she came to the home that I guess they used to share. And um, I was there. She pulled up, got out like a raging bull and attacked me. She's lying. Um, I went to the hospital uh, due to the injuries that I suffered while uh, during the altercation. When was that? What month? This was in September of, of 2012. Mm -hmm. Um, I had to have my daughter three weeks early through an emergency C-section. Um, Did you file a that, police report? I tried to file a police report, but I didn't have anyone to corroborate my story because no one was there because at the time lying. that it Where happened. Where were you all at? We were at a residence that he used to live at. And you were there by yourself? No, I was there with him and a lot of other people were there, but after the altercation, everybody left. Like, they didn't want to be involved with the police, so everybody left. While I was seven months pregnant, she came to the home that I guess they used to share, and um, I was there. She pulled up, got out like a raging bull, and attacked me. She's lying. Plaintiff Erica Wiley says the defendant had sex with her boyfriend, and the defendant claims while she was pregnant with his child, Erica attacked her. What did he do then? I know sometime on the streets, folks say, we don't talk to believe we're going to take it into our own hands. Has he done that? Did he take it into his own hands? To be honest, I um, no, because we still had an ongoing feud up until now. The so. two of you? Yes. So, he watched you be jumped on by No, her? he wasn't there. He was next door. When he came back around, he actually got her off of me, and then I immediately left. What you're saying isn't making sense. He gets off of you and then what? He leaves? No, I left. On your own? Yes. He wouldn't accompany you no, to the didn't. hospital? No. You still go with him? No. If he wanted to, she would. Oh. Same with her. <laughs> so that's one assault for you so far. Describe the other assaults. Um, the other two, I would say, in February of 2014, uh, I was getting text messages from her from his phone. Um, she was being real disrespectful, talking about my kids. No, he was being disrespectful, <laughs> but go ahead. Making jokes about the fact that I had three different kids' fathers, um, calling my kids' names, of course, calling me names. Later that day, me and my sister were on our way to the grocery store, and she happened to work at the same store. We saw each other, got into an altercation. I was arrested because I can't. I was at her establishment, I guess. No. No, because you left That's the not scene how it and you goes. attacked me. Right. Go ahead. Okay. <laughs> um, a month later in March, um, he left his phone in my car. It began ringing. Uh, I answered it. It was her. She got mad about the fact that I had his phone, about the fact that we were still seeing each other. Um, she found where I was at. The car pulled up. She hopped out. Where was that? This was in front of my mother's home. Mm -hmm. This was... And I have police... At an abandoned house. Then what happened? Um, on that she incident. jumped out at your mother's house and um, what? We began fighting. Her friend got out and started helping her. Mm -hmm. um, they repeatedly kicked, punched, All right. pulled my hair. Let me allow you to answer her three, <laughs> then I'll get to your two. Uh, she says you attacked her and beat her down while she was pregnant, and everybody sat back and watched. She's lying. Until he decided to pull you off of her. And she went to the hospital by herself, and no one ever spoke up for her. What do you say to that incident? Your Honor, she's lying. All right. Next incident. <laughs> she was arrested at the store, but she claims that somehow you assaulted her at the store you work at. She just happened to slip in <laughs> where you were working. Right. And she happened to be arrested right. after the fight. Right. No, what, what happened, Your Honor, was I pulled up at work on February 14th. As I was getting out of my car, the defendant and other her friends that were with her attacked me in my car. I never even made it out of my car. They jumped in my car on me, kicking me. She was punching me in the face. They jumped inside of my car. 
when the people on the parking lot saw them and was screaming for them to stop and they were calling the police, they jumped out and jumped back in their car and took off. Okay. The police had to go and find them. Did you go over to her mother's house and jump on her? No, sir. On March 31st, um, was my birthday party. My birthday mm -hmm. was on April 1st. So I had a party that night. Me, after my party, me and my boyfriend got into it. He left the party in my car. I left the party with someone at the party, asked them could they give me a ride so I can go and find my car. I called his phone while I was looking for my car and she answered. She goes into cursing or whatever and I'm riding in the neighborhood where he normally hangs out. It's four o'clock in the morning, right. Your Honor. First, that's first, it's four o'clock in the morning. I'm riding through the neighborhood and I get out on the street where she lives, she's sitting in, a, a, in her car at an abandoned house. She sees it's me, jumps out house. of her car, it's my an abandoned house. Driveway. How'd you end up in front it's of her house, house again house. on her street again? <laughs> Looking for my car. Stopping in okay, front of my just house. so happened, got it. All right, tell me, about the assaults that that, tell me about the assaults you're suing her for. Okay, Your Honor. Um, like I said, on February 14th. No, we already heard that one, right, okay. okay. They came um, to your store, just so happened, got it. <laughs> now, what's the other one? Uh, the other one was she hit my car, Your Honor, when? while I was in it. What day? On uh, June. All right. Of 2014. Describe what happened there. June 2014, me and my boyfriend were going to drop Say some of his Say men, our boyfriend. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, me and him. Uh, my, ain't nothing my about him. Ain't nothing There's my nothing about my about him. <laughs> in June. We pulled up and we were dropping his friends off. Apparently, somebody told her that we were coming to their dropping house. Dropping them off where? At their friend's house in. Around um, the corner. It's in from City my House. View. Around the corner from her house? Uh, yeah. Yes. It's in that neighborhood. Gotcha. Around so the corner? When I pulled up, he got out. She was. And one of the friends quiet. got out. She starts screaming, bags back into my car. She backed back into my car, pulled up, pulled out through the yard next door, and rammed into the back of my car. After she rammed into the back of my car, she pulled back again and took off. The police had to go and find her. You have the um, repair bill <clears throat> yes. or the estimates? Ma'am, what do you say to this? Uh, actually, she wasn't even there. Uh, her on-again, off-again boyfriend had her car. <laughs> so I, I told you how to refer to it. <laughs> <laughs> Our, boyfriend. Our boyfriend. There <laughs> you go. Go ahead. Okay. Um, he took my car, my car earlier that day and was gone all day. Um, I don't know why you all falling out so much. <laughs> I never seen wife and laws fall out so much. <laughs> go ahead. Um, I should get along better than that. Go ahead. Okay, so, he had my car uh, all that day. He was gone one answer in the phone. Um, I got agitated and took a walk. As I'm taking a walk, I noticed my car sitting in somebody else's driveway. So I go and sit in my car and I wait for him to pull up. When he pulled up, he was in her car. Um, he got out, we started arguing. The altercation led to physical altercation. So I got my keys back from him. And as I was leaving, I bagged into her car. Um, she approached me and asked me, was I pregnant by him? Did I, uh, was I dating him? Um, I told her, yeah, and it, all of the drama and threatening and stalking and all of that stuff started after that on her end. She would ride past my mom's house, because that's who I lived with at the time, uh, honk her horn, tell me to come outside so she can kick the baby out of me, wish mm. death on me and my baby. Plaintiff Erica Wiley says the defendant had sex with her boyfriend and the defendant claims while she was pregnant with his child, Erica attacked her. It is very clear that you caused uh, damage to her property. Uh, so I'm gonna hold you responsible for the damage you caused to her car. And she gives me an estimate, 2895. With regard to all these fights that you all are engaged in, I'm not gonna grant anybody but anything other than uh, for your car repair, ma'am. That's all I'm granting. And I don't know why you all are so violent. Uh, you young ladies, you need to get past that. You obviously come from a violent neighborhood. That's typically what the case is. When people engage in violence, they've seen a lot of violence. 
violence in their household, violence in their neighborhood, and they copy it. Uh, it's a learned behavior. And so you all need to break that cycle of violence that you all have learned, either in your household or in your neighborhood. That's one of you all going to end up dead like many of the other violent people. Or you're going to end up in prison where your boyfriend is. All right, have a good day. <laughs> Judgment for the plaintiff. Your claim is dismissed. Clearly, she's miserable. Um, I just hope that she finds her some happiness in her life, and I'm done with it. Sounds like a plan. 